You look so beautiful, Dublin, today. You showed up for Lebanon and you showed up for Palestine. You're a force. The power of the people is right here on the streets. My, my heart is bounding out because it's been a year. Do you feel that punch in the throat every morning? I've been feeling homeless, and I can't explain it. Israel destroyed my house, they killed my friends, they displaced my family, they besieged our church, and they denied my return to Gaza. Shame! Shame! I've been learning for a year now about the loss of my loved ones through scrolling on social media. I need a lifetime to mourn their loss, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm here because the people of Lebanon and the people of Gaza deserve a dignified life. for days while she cried for help come get me come get me the world couldn't rescue a child if you know this anger pain agony if you feel it I beg you to put your pain aside and feel the rage because that's the only way that you can ignite your action. And because when Hin Jebel was killed by 350 bullets that were supplied by the U.S. terrorist administration to the Israeli apartheid state, we will never know if these Guns were supplied through Shannon Airport. <laughs> Due to the complicity of the Irish government. <laughs> the Irish fought hard and long for their liberation. Only the Irish liberated the Irish. So why is it that the Irish government decides and chooses to facilitate transporting weapons through a civilian airport? <laughs> Nothing can remedy this but, but passing the Occupied Territories bills, a full arms embargo. said no to the Israeli occupation orders. They are the Irish that we know and love. Our presence here is sending this message loud and clear. We're not waiting on politicians to lie to our face again. We are taking it by our hands. We're boycotting, we're divesting, we're Boycotts. Those apps on your phones, don't walk from here without downloading them because the Zionist economy is crumbling and now they cover those products by made in South Africa, made in Mexico, 
are made in Britain and we're not fools. The Israeli Zionist apartheid are selling potatoes in Ireland. Are you kidding me? So, so when we kick their Zionist ambassador fully out, he might take his bloody potato with him. We've lost so much, but our dignity, our resilience, and our resistance 